Mark, I'm not getting any younger. I realize that there is nothing in this life where your mom passed away a few years ago. Dad, please go straight to the point. I have few things to attend to in the office. Okay. I want you to take over my company. I know you have your own company, but please, for my sake. Dad, I know. But the workload in your company is too much and differs from mine. Anyway, I will do it. Thanks, son. You are the best, but you know you are now a full-grown man. Don't you think you need a wife? Seriously? But dad, we have just concluded this issue about the company, and now you are asking me to get married. Son, I don't want you to pass through what happened to me when your mom died, which is loneliness. Why are you so concerned about me all of a sudden? Just tell me what the problem is. My son, <coughs> I've been suffering from osteoporosis for the past six months. What? Dad, why didn't you tell me all these things? I would have taken you to a more facilitated hospital. It is normal for old aged men. My bones are getting weaker. Can't you knock? Besides, who are you? I haven't seen your face in this company before. Um, I'm sorry, sir. My name is Sophia and I'm your new secretary. Don't hesitate to call me if you need anything. Okay, just get back to work. Sophia, how was work today? Work was fine but stressful, you know. I feel highly favored to work in a company known for ethical and moral standards. You can say that again. It is hard to get a responsible job nowadays, so promise you will make me and your dad proud and you will not do anything stupid. Mom, don't you trust me? You can count on me. Um, speaking of dad, where is he? He went to get something along the street. There is food in the kitchen because I know you are very tired. Thank you, mom. I promise to make you and dad proud. Hello, is that Dr. Emeka? Mark, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I just called to ask some questions. Okay, go on. If a person has osteoporosis, can they be cured? Well, there is a 90% possibility. It's a medical condition in which the bones become brittle and fragile from loss of tissue, typically as a result of hormonal imbalance or deficiency of calcium or vitamin D. You have to test the patient before jumping into a conclusion. Okay, I'll be coming to see you tomorrow. Can we please make arrangements for a test? No problem. You should come around 9 a.m. The result shows that your dad has osteoporosis. The good news is that it's not that serious, but your dad has to be careful. He needs to avoid stress and hard work. My son, have you heard? Get married soon and make me proud. What do you want? So, so sorry, sir. I just came to ask if you need anything. Coffee? No, thank you. I'm good. Um, but, uh, okay. 
But you look kind of weary, sir. Something bothering you? No, I am fine. I'm so, so sorry for disturbing you. Sorry, sir. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm just so stressed right now. I'm having some personal issues. I just need some quiet time. It's fine, sir. I understand. Well, if you want to relax, I have a chicken soup that my mom normally makes. It always helps me relax. It might help you too. Should I get you some? Okay, sure. Thank you. I see you are making a lot of women at the office jealous. Um, what do you mean? You even had lunch with the boss. I guess it was fun. It wasn't like that. He was just stressed, so I gave him... You know, I don't have to explain anything to you. Sorry, I didn't say anything. I wasn't judging either. Good for you, then. Come on, relax. By the way, my name is Clara. My office is next to yours. Whatever. Sophia, how are you now? You just forget about your best friend, though. It's not like that. It's just that I've been busy at work lately. Okay, so what about that your guy now that's been following you up and down? What's that his name again? Um, Christian. Oh, Christian. He's very arrogant and rude. That's why I dislike him a lot. Um, there's this guy in my workplace. He's the boss. Although he's handsome but a little bit grumpy. I think his name is Mark. Hmm, this one that you are telling me. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. Uh-uh. Can't I tell you about my boss again? Okay, well, I'm just happy for you. Finally, you have a good job. In case there is any vacancy in your place of work, please let me know. Okay, no problem. Hello. Hi, good morning, sir. Morning, Miss Sophia. Sir, there are some paperwork you need to complete for the company to distribute this month's product, sir. Okay, bring them over to my apartment. I can't go to the office today. You, you, you want me to bring the document to your house? Yes. Is there a problem? No, 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 not at all. It's fine. Just confirming what you said. Okay, my apartment is at Stephas Gardens, Block B. And please, when you are coming, stop at a pharmacy and get me a medicine for fever. Going somewhere? Yes, why do you ask? Because the day isn't over yet. I have some errands Mr. Mark asked me to run. If you would excuse me, I would like to be on my way. Thank you. <laughs> 